Hello and welcome to album review number 17. Today I'm going to be reviewing Omadon by Mike Oldfield. Uh, but before I start, I just want to say that I think I'll be uploading quite a few videos this week. Um, between now and maybe Friday or Saturday. I'm planning to do five more reviews before Christmas and I might do two in, two in each day, like twice. Two a day and then two another day. I also want to do at least two more lists, so you'll probably see, uh, including this one, five reviews, four after this, so five reviews and two lists, and I'll maybe split one of the lists over two videos. So this might be the eighth last video of the year. I think I'm going to try and pack quite a lot of videos in uh, before Christmas. Um, I won't be making any, I really, really doubt I'll be making any between Christmas and New Year. So after this bunch of videos that you'll get over the next week or so, will probably be the last um, of the year. Uh, but anyway, let's get straight on to it. Omadon by Mike Oldfield is his third uh, album and it was released in 1975. Um, as his two previous albums, Tubular Bells and Hergus Ridge, it is completely instrumental apart from the end of this one. Um, there's a wee song at the end, uh, on the end of on the end of Omadon Part Two, so I, it might it's probably actually the first ever Omadon, I'm um, sorry, Michael View track with lyrics, uh, but it's almost completely instrumental. It's probably a better thing to say, kind of like the Endless River by Pink Floyd, but shorter and better. To be honest, uh, you know, instrumental right up until the end. Well, there was some weird voices going on in Tubular Bells, so if you count that as lyrics, then you know. But I personally wouldn't. Um, it features uh, two sides, uh, each com composed of a uh, single piece of music over each, uh, both about 17 or so, 19, 17 minutes each. So two side long pieces of music. Um, so basically two songs. This will probably be quite a short review because there's only technically two songs on the album, but they are both long, so it's great having it on vinyl. This is used, I think I've talked about this in my um, vinyl collection. I mean, yeah, of course I did, why wouldn't I? Uh, this is not a gatefold. I said it was for some reason. I, sometimes when I'm making videos on, and I'm saying sort of stuff on the spot, I just talk complete nonsense. Uh, quite a lot, probably. Uh, this is not a gatefold. I think the, probably the reason why I thought it was a gatefold because it opens up like that. Uh, this is supposed to be glued. You know, I think I already talked about this. That there is supposed to stick together. It's supposed to just open up like that, you know, like this. But it kind of makes it look like a gatefold because it's kind of unstuck. But it's not supposed to be. Anyway, uh, Omadon Part 1 is the one that's all instrumental. It starts off kind of quite moody. In fact, most of Part 1 is quite sort of slightly moody, kind of dark. It never gets dark, but it's quite sort of a bit moody, part one. Um, it mainly starts off with sort of acoustic sort of guitar. Um, I think it's acoustic guitar anyway. There's so many different weird instruments going on in these albums and he does them all himself. That um, And there's so many of them it's kind of difficult to know exactly how many what instruments he's using at times. Some instruments sound like in other instruments, you know. Um, but it starts off with quite uh, memorable kind of moody sort of wee, wee melody and then it kind of goes into a sort of part where you get this sort of chanting it sounds it sort of sounds like children it might be it might be children or it might be a couple of uh, like sort of women voices I can't quite tell uh, but that kind of continues the sort of moody part then after that there's a kind of slightly more it's kind of like a reprise of the beginning, but a wee bit more optimistic. Um, and part one sort of ends with a sort of big build up of a uh, sort of big crescendo of sort of Russian music. Uh, it said Russian, not Russian there, by the way. Um, it sort of sounded like I said Russian. Um, part two is by far my favourite. It's kind of difficult to talk about just sort of just instrumental music. Especially if it's stuff I don't know very well. I'm not a huge Michael Field fan. I only have about three of his albums. If I was to talk about an instrumental piece like Lavia Strangiato by Rush, I could probably t 
talk about that in detail quite a bit. But when it comes to like Armadon, especially part one, it's a bit more difficult. Um, part two is by, by far my favourite. And I'd say part two is actually um, the best Michael Field piece of music ever. Um, it immediately starts off, you get this sort of, it's about kind of a whirlwind of keyboard noises and synthesizers. So I'm going like, bloo, 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 sort of like that. It's kind of a wee bit electronic sounding. Um, and there is there's notes to it as well. There's a sort of overarching sort of rhythm, um, but it's fast paced sort of keyboard notes going around with a sort of back background sort of melody sort of going on. Um, then that sort of fades away, and you get this absolutely beautiful little acoustic guitar part, um, which sort of builds up, and then you get the bagpipes. I think they're bagpipes anyway, and it's absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. It's one of the most... Omadon Part 2 is one of the most beautiful, um, heartfelt pieces of music I've ever heard in my life. Um, I, I, I can't believe I haven't said this already. Omadon by far is my favourite Michael Field album. I know Tubular Bells is considered the best. I think the reason that's, that's so popular is because it was in The Exorcist. Omadon is a much better album. Tubular Bells is great. It is a great album, but it has some weaker moments, especially in the second half. While... Omadon gets really does get better from start get better as it goes along. Part two is definitely better than part one. And part one's absolutely brilliant as well. I'd say part one of Tubular Bells is better than part one of Omadon, but I'd say part two of Omadon is better than anything, basically, that Michael Field has done. Omadon is like a sort of fictional sort of place he made. I didn't realise that until Return to Omadon. It kinda of reminds me of Skyrim if you play video games. Um on the cover. But I just want to quickly say, Return to Omadon is nowhere near as good as the original. Nowhere near as good. Um, he tried to sort of recreate it. It's not very progressive either, because it's kind of going backwards. But it's just nowhere near as good. Nowhere near as good. It's. I doubt I'll we'll ever do a review of it because there's just not much to talk about. Um, but yeah, the bagpipes go on for quite a bit. It's absolutely beautiful. So uplifting. Um, so heartfelt. Seriously, one of the most beautiful pieces of music I've ever heard. Um, then it kind of gets a wee bit faster again towards the end. This nice little, nice little tune that sort of builds up and then it just sort of ends abruptly. And that's only about 14 minutes into the piece. Um, because after that, you've got a little song called On a Horseback. Which is part of Omadon Part 2. It's sort of, it's, it isn't its own track. It is, it is part of Part 2. But it's, again, it's so beautiful. It's such a nice wee song. Um, it's basically talking is the lyrics basically talk about um being on horseback going through the countryside is basically like the most beautiful and wonderful experience that he's ever had and the lyrics are the lyrics are very beautiful quite quite sort of they, they remind me of kind of something ray thomas would write that when he because he was when he was in the moody blues you can you can sort of listen to their music and he, he was the kind of one that wrote this sort of childlike sort of fantasy sort of songs it sort of sound he, he wrote songs that kind of sounded a bit nursery rhyme-ish the lyrics are a wee bit like that um but the guitar the acoustic guitar is absolutely beautiful the lyrics are beautiful um Omadon part two is one of the greatest pieces of music ever in my opinion it's one of the greatest songs of all time one of the greatest tracks um and it's better than anything else that I've heard Michael Peel do. I know he's done dozens of albums and I haven't heard them all. I've actually only heard his first three, uh, Tubular Bells, Hergus Ridge and Omadon and Return to Omadon. They're the only four I've heard. Um, but I doubt I'll hear anything as good as Return to Omadon. Um, sorry, Omadon. But uh, that's basically my review of Omadon. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So not much else to say really. Um, I knew this was going to be a quick video. But anyway, thanks for watching.